What's up you guys, Warnock Revolution here, back at you filming another video, and today looks like we've got a box of nickels, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, it's got this interesting um, stop if seal is broken kind of thing on here. But um, I just got some nickels from the bank. They're uh, machine wrap rolls, and they are circulated nickels, so that's good. But it's just twenty dollars in nickels. I couldn't get a whole box, sadly. Still, with the coin shortage and everything, I can't get an entire box of anything. Uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters can't get any of that, which is really unfortunate. But um, let's just hunt these nickels and see what we can find. We're looking for shield nickels, V nickels, buffalo nickels, Jefferson nickels between nineteen thirty eight and nineteen fifty nine. We're looking for war nickels between 1942 and 1945 because so they've got silver in them, 35% silver. We're looking for proof nickels. They've got this mirror finish on them. We're looking for blank planchets, so that would be cool. And we're looking for foreign coins as well as some 2009 coins because those are low mintage. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this and see what we can find. All right, guys, first roll I opened, I see this older looking coin. It's got a... Denver mint mark right here by the Monticello, which is the building on the back of a nickel. And let's just see if it's something old. It kind of looks old, but it could just be 1964. Let's hope it's not, because they made a lot of those. Nope, it's a 1964. All right. So nothing there, but we've got a whole couple of rolls to look through. So let's continue. Well, so guys, roll number three, we found something. We found a 1953 out of Denver. So sweet. Let's continue. Roll number five, guys. It looks like we got something in here that looks pretty old. It's got a Denver mint mark on the right side of the Monticello. Let's see if it's anything old. I'm guessing 40s, probably 46. 1949 Denver. All right, I'll take it. It's a good find for sure. Sweet. Let's continue to see what else we can find. Halfway through roll number six, guys, we got our first Canadian. It's a 1993. The queen on there, crowned queen. Sweet. Good find. Let's continue. Number eight, just opened it up, laid it all out, and a few coins in. We find a 2009 out of Philly. That's awesome. These really don't come up that often. Maybe we'll find one a box when we do hunt boxes. But still, that is a good coin to get. Doesn't happen, like I said, often enough. Anyways, let's continue to see what else we can find. Guys, just searching through rule number nine. I kind of saw this on its edge, thinking it was like, mm, that could be a war knuckle. It is not a war knuckle, unfortunately. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, it's 1941. Is it a 41? Yeah, 41. Almost looks like a 7. 41 Philly. But it was definitely the right kind of color you want to see. Not as dark, though, as a war nickel. So I'm like, that's got to be old. Especially when I saw this, um, the trust peeking out. It was pretty worn down. So I'm like, oh, that's got to be something good. And it is. 1941 Philly. Pretty common coin, but 40s nickels, they don't just come up that often. So they're good to get. Let's continue, though, see what else we can find. So, guys, what we ended up with in this hunt is a 1953 Denver, a 1958 Denver, a 1993 Canadian, a 2009 Philadelphia, a 1949 Denver, and a 1941 Philly. So four older coins in this $20 search of nickels, so that's pretty good, I think. And then Canadians are typically good to get. I, I think I'll be tossing this one back just because it's not that old. And um, the 2009 I'll definitely keep because I keep all my 2009s. It's just a thing I do, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you liked the hunt. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel if you're new because we do stuff like this on the channel quite a bit. Um, corn roll hunting when we can. And other stuff on the channel like antiques, detecting, Stuff like that. If you're interested in any of that, think about subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.